Jacober, Executive Director of Washington Hebrew Congregation. You are coming up on your retirement. And I just wanted to chat and get some final thoughts as you say farewell to us here at Washington Hebrew. So first off, you know, you've been here quite a while, 15 years. Uh, what's changed in, in that time? I think overall, over the past 15 years, uh, the operational features of our congregation have become much more sophisticated and much more uh, business-like, taking advantage of best practices for nonprofit and religious institutions so that there's greater transparency among the staff as well as the lay leadership. And what are some of those best practices that you, you brought into play? I think basically from a variety of different perspectives. Uh, number one, in terms of general security, uh, given the state of the world today and, and our nation, um, with anti-Semitism on the rise, we've introduced and been able to implement and execute uh, best practices in security in terms of the security services that we offer as well as the protocols and procedures. I think from a financial perspective, uh, we've also been able to really introduce processes and uh, programs that provide for checks and balances and um, greater insight into where we've come from and where we, we're going to. Uh, from a human resources perspective, we've also been able to uh, introduce uh, policies and procedures uh, that are much more in line with the business world and the nonprofit and religious worlds of today. That's great. And, you know, so with all of those, is there one thing in particular that you're proud of uh, accomplishing uh, during your time here? I think in a couple of different areas. One is uh, the team approach uh, to serving the community. Uh, our staff is much more coherent uh, as well as geared towards member services. Uh, our, our reason for being is everybody that steps through these doors and I think we've been able to highlight that approach to business. Also in terms of the partnership between clergy, lay leadership, and the administrative staff, uh, we've also become closer and really realize uh, what each of our roles are in fulfilling the mission of the congregation. Uh, I think also what we as a team have been able to accomplish throughout the recent pandemic has been, like many organizations, transformative in that we've been able to change, adapt, and at the same time, protect as much as we are able the health of our uh, congregants. And then finally, I, I think from the security perspective, it's probably one of the things that keeps me up at night, uh, is trying to work toward ensuring the physical safety of our congregation. And these are some of the things that I'm really proud of. So with all of those, is there something that makes Washington Hebrew different, uh, sets us apart from other congregations? I think it's uh, what we provide our congregation and the membership. Uh, I think the variety of programs uh, and activities that have been created by our clergy and executed and implemented by the staff, uh, really there are very few congregations that have the breadth and depth of programming that we offer. Uh, we all offer not only from a religious perspective, but from a social justice perspective. Uh, tikkun olam is so important to this congregation, and we all strive to make the world a better place one day at a time, one person at a time. Is there a memory that you're gonna take away in particular, one, one particular one, or one particular moment that uh, stands out? I think how the congregation has come together to voice the values that are inherent in our prophetic Jewish tradition uh, over the past six years in terms of 
making sure that uh, we provide our members with opportunities to march, to voice our values, and again, to make the world a better place. All right, and what are you gonna do next? I'm retiring from Washington Hebrew up to Connecticut to be closer to my wife's family, and I certainly look forward to this next stage in my life. I think, you know, one of the things that I'll uh, miss is the people. Uh, you know, this congregation is and has been a strong organization in D.C., in the reform movement, uh, and even in the world. And it's the people that make that, that makes that happen. Uh, and just the warmth and caring I feel for everyone that comes into this door, uh, these doors at both of our facilities, uh, is something that I will miss. Well, you can't take the people with you, but, uh, you know, if we were able to give you anything in any of these buildings, artwork, books, you know, some, some physical object, is there one thing that you absolutely, you know, always go back to, look at, enjoy, uh, experience that you would love to take away? I think, uh, really, from a physical reminder of this place, uh, not so much because it's the memories that, that I'll always treasure and the relationships that will continue. So that's what's really important to me. I think on my 10th anniversary though, the physical uh, reminder, I received a gift of an Ohio State University mezuzah. And that's something that will always remind me of Washington Hebrew. Fantastic, Steve, thanks so much and uh, happy retirement. Okay. Thank you.